Hi, we got some guests from Mountain Home. Um, we got Chrissy and we got Stacy, and they're here to talk about Strong Moms Ask for Help, which is a, a kickoff campaign event for an October event that's happening um, in October, of course. Um, so uh, if you guys want to talk a little bit more about this, what is Strong Moms Ask for Help? Sure, so the point of Strong Moms Ask for Help is to let all moms everywhere know that it is not a weakness to ask for help. And the reason we really need this campaign is that there's still a lot of stigma around asking for help for moms, um, particularly when it comes to mental health care. Um, a lot of moms, I think, fear being considered incapable or incompetent, like mm -hmm. if they admit that they're struggling with something that people might judge them as bad parents. And of course, that's the last thing any mom wants. Like Right. And, you, and you also uh, protect their privacy as well. Absolutely. It's like that's above and beyond else. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right. So um, if you were to get services at Mountain Home, our mental health center, we are a licensed mental health center. And of course, we keep your, you know, uh, information confidential. No. Mm -hmm. um, and, but we really want the campaign to even be broader than just what Mountain Home is offering so that moms can support each other and have a kind of network of discussions and share tips and ideas with each other um, about parenting and just coping with the day-to-day um, stress of right. parenting as well as the joys and share those too. Right, you know, it's, it's not perfect. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, yeah. it's, it's a mixture of wonderful, it's, it's basically, I think the word is divine because yeah. divine is both a mixture of this like horrifying horror uh, <laughs> right. from what your kids can get into over, and like you know, trying to prevent your kids from like getting into places. It's like, <laughs> right. oh, sorry. Uh, and it's like, get out of, no, no, get out of there, stop, stop. And then a lot of times the kids are just like, guess what I learned? And I do a picture of you, mommy and, and all that stuff. <laughs> Right. But it's yeah, right. It, it's it's interesting mm -hmm. for sure. But um, you guys are, your goal is to get 2,000 moms. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. We want yeah. 2,000 moms to yeah. sign the pledge okay. to ask for help when they need it and to offer help when they can. Because yeah. we've all got strengths and we've all got challenges. Mm -hmm. So we're not, I think a lot of people think of Mountain Home as a group home for teen moms. And mm -hmm. that it, we do offer that service, but we offer a whole lot more. And this is one way that we're trying to let people know that it's a much bigger um, program than you might expect. And all moms of any age, we want you to go onto our website and sign the pledge. All right, and your website is? Uh... Mountainhomemt.org. Yep, and here it is. Is there anything that um, on this website people can go to for like, to learn more about it as well, since we're on here? Oh, yeah. sure. Stacy, why don't you? Share yeah. some of the um, so just learning more about our housing program, our supportive services program, are those top buttons. Um, if you have, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so this is housing, so it shows that we are providing both stable housing, so this independent living and group home living. We have apartments, five apartments, as well as the seven rooms in our group home. Um, we have supportive services through our mental health center as well. So um, we just offer a lot of services from employment uh, support, educational support, um, therapy, case management, support staff, our resource center. So just you know, some information on, is given on that part. Cool. Uh, there's a tab at the top to make a referral as well. And so if you know somebody um, who maybe needs some support, um, we'll re get back to cool. that person after referral within a week. So how often, um, like compared to people who just um, come in and just like seek help versus uh, how many people get referrals. It's just like, oh, this place is a great place for that you guys can go check out. Like, in, like how many, uh, like, I guess, I don't want to use the word customers, but mm -hmm. like how many yeah. Um, yeah. like are referred versus how many people are just walk-ins? Mm -hmm. So we serve about 50 moms and 70 kids every year. Mm -hmm. um, we can do more than that, particularly through our community center, and that's mm -hmm. where we're really wanting to let people in Missoula know that the community center offers um, uh, really great resources, life skills classes, parenting classes, mm -hmm. um, opportunities to do art. Our resource center manager um, has an MFA in visual arts, and yeah. so they they created a mural on our wall recently mm -hmm. and are always doing kind of mm -hmm. projects to unwind and connect and just have some mom time. Uh, so we really want to let people know about the community center mm -hmm. um, specifically. And they have drop-in hours. Um, the best way to access the community center is to check out the website, give us a call, and once we get you 
signed up, do a quick, really quick cool. intake, then you can drop in. You can even use the computers. Um, it's a warm and welcoming space for lots of different things to happen. Cool. And um, let's go come back to the event that's happening this Saturday, tomorrow, yes. at um, the Southgate Mall, which is happening pretty much all day, and anybody can stop by at any time at the mall, anytime to um, talk to you guys and just inquire what you guys are all about. That's right. So uh, Southgate Mall, between 12 and 8 on Saturday. Um, stop in. We'll have a couple different tables around the mall, so you should be able to find us easily. We'll mm -hmm. have staff there the whole time who can uh, just talk to you more about what Mountain Home is, what the um, campaign is, how you can get involved. And again, the campaign is not just for people who want services at Mountain Home, but for all moms everywhere. And there's lots of ways to get involved if you want to volunteer and support, donate or support mothers in other ways. Um, that's part of the campaign as well. So um, since you're talking about the campaign, is there anything about the campaign we haven't covered? Well, one thing I actually want to let everyone know is that we are doing this campaign to let people know particularly about our community center and to build support for all moms everywhere. All moms everywhere are also in jeopardy because of the cuts to the um, state budget from Department of Public Health and Human Services. Um, so we are also asking people to call their legislators mm -hmm. and ask them to do a special session in Helena yeah. to increase revenue. That's the only way to prevent these budget cuts from happening. They're just, you know, that's, there's only one way to balance a budget is increase income or decrease expenses. No. And right now they're proposing to decrease expenses. Um, in a way that hurts vulnerable families. Right. Yep. And um, you you also mentioned that before we uh, did our interview, we were talking a little bit about this, about how many mothers are actually living out of their cars. Right, absolutely. So more than 60% of the moms that uh, used our residential services last year were literally homeless when they came to us. So living in a car, maybe beneath a bridge, or kind of uh, camping without power or electricity or running water. Um, and that's just not safe for yeah. them or their children. And that's, it's not acceptable as a community to mm -hmm. have vulnerable families yeah. living yeah. that way. It doesn't have to be that way. And so we really need our state to continue the support. Yeah. They've been doing a good job <laughs> of supporting these families um, through programs like ours. Right. And mm -hmm. we need now is yeah. not the time to cut those services. And, you, and you're looking for action now. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Now is the time for action. Okay, cool. So Absolutely. if you want to give um, Mountain Home support, you can find out more information by going on to a Mountain Home empty.org yeah, and also you can call them at 541-4663. Yes, that's it. Yeah, 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 great. So um, say hi. Uh, they're going to be there all day on Saturday at the mall. So um, even if you don't need help, it, they can always use your support. That's right. Yep. So thanks for joining me, guys. Is thanks there anything for else? Us, Scott. Yeah. Um, I mean, I could talk about Mountain Home all day. I'm sure Stacy could yeah. too. Um, so, uh -huh. uh, but why don't you come to our website or give yeah. us a call or, or come, come to the mall? Exactly. <laughs> we'll talk to you. Exactly. All right. Thanks, guys. Okay. And we'll be right.